quotes. I know the refrain. I've heard it. I can't wait for the election to be over because of those campaign ads. Well, the ones we saw here in Washington seem tepid compared to what we saw in other states. Washington's had plenty. Did you know Dr. Tax also supports a brand new personal state income tax? The eighth was brutal. Rossi wrote a budget that would kick 46,000 kids off health care. But tame compared to other parts of the country. I will beat Joe Manchin and ditch cocaine Mitch for the sake of the kids. There was West Virginia's Senate race. He is just dead wrong, and that ain't going to happen. I'm Joe Manchin, and I approve this message because for me, it's all about West Virginia. Georgia. And two things if you're going to date one of my daughters. Respect. And? A healthy appreciation for the Second Amendment, sir. Florida. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. Minnesota. Others shrug and say, oh, all this talk of a dumpster fire, it's just fake news. There is an inferno raging in Washington. But here in the land of 10,000 lakes, we know how to put out a fire. There was a Texas two-step of memorable ads. This is Ken Paxton, the indicted Texas Attorney General, walking away with a stolen pen. Vote Justin Nelson for Texas Attorney General. He will fight on behalf of all Texans, and he won't steal your pen. If somebody called my wife a dog and said my daddy was in on the Kennedy assassination, I wouldn't be kissing their ass. Come on. Ted. Political ad paid for by FTC PAC. And Michigan elected a new attorney general, thanks in part to this ad. When you're choosing Michigan's next attorney general, ask yourself this. Who can you trust most not to show you their penis in a professional setting? Is it the candidate who doesn't have a penis? I'd say so. Yep, she won. And we didn't even mention the ad down in Arizona where the brothers and sisters of Paul Gosar encouraged people to vote for his opponent. That got a lot of play, but didn't move the needle much there. Gosar was still reelected and joked <sighs> that he's looking forward to Thanksgiving with his family. I don't know if I was watching SNL or actual political ads, but those are going to be studied in political science classes for Lord knows how long. Yeah, good, good stuff. All right.